I like how we had to reiterate this. <laughs> Ah, sprinkles. Okay, but he like chewed out someone for being late yesterday and now he's late the next day. It really does not look good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. And he catches his breath. Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. <laughs> You want to pay attention to class? Surely you do. <laughs> you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders. And you miss most of the important parts. Oh no. Oh no. When you come to, Dream. Sprinkles is holding a tray and food in front of you. <laughs> Naturally, this appears to be a, simple, a sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? Okay, a glass of water, a shimmering pepper, or a dog biscuit. What should we go with? I feel like a shimmering pepper. Yeah. But we might need that water in a second if we have the pepper. A brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in the most eye-catching way. So naturally, reach out and grab it and eat it right away. However, your body's not prepared for the heat. It's cayenne. The pepper is triggered in a sense spice al a hallucination. It feels like forever as you trip through the universe. I think it was... Oh my god. Is it toad? Yeah, it's toad time. It, it is. Ghost toad? My friend! No! This guy again? I'm here to give you an important message! <laughs> you must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny! All you must do is. Cough, cough! I was saying, to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is... Cough, cough. Sorry, I think I still got some spice stuck in my throat there. It's fine. I'll work through. Cough. To fulfill. Cough. The prophecy. Cough, cough. No, you must. You feel yourself beginning to regain consciousness. Oh, man. You come to find everyone is staring at you. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch! Everyone can relax like your temperature your lights dim. And your and your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Uh today's lunch. We'll be prepared. The attend competition cook-off! Woohoo! The level of theatrics these two is off the charts. Demand they stop wasting everyone's time or step up and tell them you're on. What should we do? You gotta impress the colonel, man! Impress the colonel! Impress the colonel! So we do this one? Yes. Oh, of course. A bit of one shot in competition, eh? Kill me in! If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down, then so be it! I think this part's gonna go fast. Uh, I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Good uh, <clears throat> one, Van Van. I like your gumption. Pong Pong. The fool. I'll be watching your performance. Everything he says is so worthy. <laughs> Just the things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Oh, he seems he seems to not oh. asleep right now. Oh, he's angry. Sprinkle's not happy. Sprinkle's angry. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh. Just then a huge so red light blasts in your face, flashing the words. Time to ready. 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 ready to rumble! And tumble. And tumble. I think this actually part goes fast, so you're just gonna have to go and oh. run. I stand, I stand corrected! Oh, 
hard way, but build solid in you know, a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. That's an original quote by me, in any case. In case anyone was wondering. I hope its message lifts you to victory. Look at that! I was born under pressure, and now is my chance to shine. I will defeat you myself! <laughs> you had a chicken, you made mashed potatoes and gravy in day one. You're feeling like you can really impress them here again. Now it's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Oh, do I have to choose? Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Run. We can't read it. You just gotta run. Go! Go, go, go! 100. Oh no. Oh. 100 is salty. 11. 11. Yep. Yeah. How about you intensive? Intensive. Uh, uh, this one? Gratitude? No, no. Okay. What? Begging to get it together. Oh! <laughs> Reading for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you are. You break back at the pace if you want to survive. When you're a child, your father, your father never told you to forget where you came from. Every day you meditate in his voice and draw energy from that place. It's your shot and you're not gonna miss it. <laughs> you try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. Sizzling. Not sizzling? Oh no. Is this the end? Yep. Game over. Oh. 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 Yeah, try again. You have to win. You have to win? That, that, that was bad. Anime logic, you have to win. 100 Celsius. And then... Eleven. And then it's gratitude. Small town. Is it bubbling? Bubbling? No, it's silence. Silence. Okay. Next question. You know, Sarah Sanders at the corner of your eye. <gasps> I believe in you, Pong Pong the Pog the Four. He's actually cheering you on, which would be awesome. Except you know, when he's watching, you makes you totally forget what you're doing. No, you can think about as Colonel Sanders and that horse. <laughs> the horse. Oh. I, honestly, the horse is more attractive. Yeah, the me. horse is definitely more attractive. Oh no. Oh god! Um, oh god! Oh, what were you thinking? Get your mind back in the competition. <laughs> oh. I know, right? Oh no. Wedding bell. Oh no. Wolf, wolf. Struggling to keep up. The next station is for the Elmas or Dishes Club on Complex. Every time you talk to your biscuit, they want to stand next to you to the crowd gasps. Oh no. <laughs> Yikes. I know. You love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance you tend to utilize in a kitchen battle. And sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. <laughs> You might not have had any hands, but Pong Pong, the Pog, the horse, the Pong Pong, the Pog, it's fine. And a good chef needs to be touching the toes. No, 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 you hear everyone talking around how serious your error was. And they shove your hand in- Oh, oh no, you immediately shove your hand in Mr. Rescue, oh. don't worry, it's overmixed! Pong Pong the Pong! The fourth, no! We're not fast your hand gets stuck and immediately crushed by the beating spinners. Uh, the quickly spinning beaters so doesn't able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. What use am I to find the thing? Easy way can turn out much, much more easy. <gasps> oh! Oh no! Let's go! Let's go! I'm so close to finishing my dish. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, that's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish, ready to serve. Surely, 
think we're gonna win a ball. <laughs> You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. Well, because I'm the sweetest darling, I skipped straight to dessert. Under this warm chocolate soup. Chocolate working takes a really long time. Okay. Um, under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of land where they take good and tell the story of excellence. I like the heart-shaped plate. That's very cute. Not very practical, but very cute. I was going to ask Kong Kong before. Did I, wait, did I misread that? You forgot the pog! You forgot <laughs> oh, okay. the pog! You need the pog! I was going to ask Pong Pog the Pog for to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamier of the delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Kona Sanders, you would have divided any means. Your strong, steady hand. Carl Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Ooh. It's a magic chocolate <laughs> Inside, you'll find delicate fried cheese crotch on top of slice of ice cream. Ice cream to ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry gelatin. Grossan seems intrigued, but not impressed as he dips his fingers into the chocolate sauce. Oh, you! <laughs> I'm a complicated woman. As he places a, a sauce covered finger onto his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. I dab a sauce sticks to his mustache. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, your head now? Uh, I, yeah, I just yelled. Okay. Alright, should we internalize the rage we feel, or should we put ourselves um, between Colonel Sanders and Ashley? Internalize the rage, the pain! <laughs> the rage! Your rage burns so intently that you're, with, with your eyes that they burst into flames! Ooh. Oh my god! Um, oh no. The flames cause your eyeballs to catch fire and turn to ash, and they fall off your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your oceans for the rest of the semester. Perhaps forever. Oh, he's horrified. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run to, for the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages! It's Colonel Sanders who's probably tell you that he and Ashley are in love and decide to get married. I'm going to ask you to carry to his wedding because you're a terrible chef, chef and an awful person. Try to hide from him, he approaches you directly. <clears throat> I know you're hiding right now. <gasps> not just me. From the devastating blows, or from that run-in with the mixer and the small fire, we should get that checked out. Oh, I'm fine. fine. Just, just leave me alone. I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your prior. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life, not just the music change. for all of us. Do you think I've never failed anything before? It's relatable. It's exactly what I think. Well then. Think again. I wasn't always the man you see before me, before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Spoon me now. <laughs> spork, spork me. Come on. Who needs a spoon? Spork me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. Winks. But I've walked other paths. I arrived at it. Oh, he's sad. Oh. He's tears in his eyes. It brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. How do you pronounce the word? Obstetrician. Okay. What, what is, what job is that? <clears throat> I was passionate about justice, but I failed. 
he, he can't be a phoenix right it's very sad oh no i was passionate about lifestyle but i even feel, feel as a mule handle it that wounds especially on blue heels can be so cruel i'm really wanting to see him being like beat up by a mule now same he's immortal oh totally <laughs> oh no i lost my business for to a gunfight wait why wait wait i, I didn't know People see my delicate ribbon tie and my wit well kept to be i i <laughs> <laughs> it's wet Don't <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> My well kept me and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now. But it oh, has it's been. Well, it sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the very best I had to give. Scrum trying to change his focus to use this on any night and sign him a burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My true dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. Crisp. 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 I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past. Oh, yeah. <laughs> off doing here. This is your moment goes intimate. You're offed by a threatening shadowy presence. I wonder who would out. Bounce hard oh. the night before you prepare for the worst. It's a spork monster. Borko? Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, there you go. It is, I know. I know, I said I wouldn't be back. And after the whole fight to the death thing, maybe you don't see me anymore but i just wanted to say i was wrong to attack you and i apologize he's like didn't <laughs> i know what it's like now having to always look over your shoulder monster problems am i right oh, oh thanks porco Oh, thanks, Forko. I'm glad there's I'm glad there's no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in, in the dark of night can really rile a person up. Also, I apologize for the way I switched right into attack mode. Almost died. I almost died. I know that you're strong. In grade school, it gets up under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to the school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you know. You see. I don't believe it. You were human once? Uh, well, no. I was a golden retriever. That really doesn't matter. But case in point, I was at your school, and uh, I was still a student. Until one day, some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment spell on me. And I was forever transformed. <gasps> Maybe that's our rhymes. A magic spell book. Precisely. I had prepared a copy for myself. But somewhere along the way, I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. Burn it. Like a religion. You're a powerful chef. You shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent, like Colonel Sanders, from those who would cheat on them in sorcery and Pluto. Guile. Guile. Thank you. If you need me, don't fear. I'll be there in the bushes. Glad we spared them. There were red hoods in the kitchen of the light pong, pong the pog before. Together, I am sure, we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Oh, hideaway. Personal invite. You can't imagine what Carl Santa's home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. 